John Greer Life. All right, let me just confirm. All right. At this time, all sergeants, please start recordings. PC recording has started. And cloud is rolling. And good morning and welcome to a remote vote for the Committee on Governmental Operations. At this time, will all members please turn on their videos and sounds all electronic devices. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Ong, we are ready to begin. Good morning, I'm Council Member Sandra Ong, Chair of the Committee on Governmental Operations. I would like to welcome my colleagues who have joined us today, Council Members Haneef, Shulman, Ressler, and Brewer. Created in 2010, the Report and Advisory Board Review Commission is responsible for reviewing the continual usefulness of reporting requirements established by local law. If the commission determines that a particular reporting requirement is no longer justified, it has the authority to waive the requirement. Once the commission votes to waive a report, the city council may vote to approve or reject the waiver. Last December, the commission voted to waive six different reporting requirements in the city's charter and administrative code. Each of these six requirements is described in detail in the commissioner's determination letter, which was submitted to the council on December 30th, is attached to today's committee report as exhibit one. Last week, the committee conducted a hearing on the commissioner's recent waiver determinations to gain additional context on each of these six reports selected for waiver. Today, the committee will vote on the resolution to reject two of these waivers made by the commission and approve the remaining four. The committee will also vote on the companion bill to remove the language from the administrative code and charter that will be nullified upon the passage of the resolution. In passing this resolution and bill, the committee will allow several outdated reporting requirements to be waived while also ensuring that the two important reports continue to be produced. One report that will continue to be required is the 911 operation time analysis report, which includes critical information on the police department's response time to 911 calls. The other one is the annual youth service report, which includes unique and useful data on youth service programs run by the Department of Youth and Community Development. And with that, I want to thank our community staff. Senior Financial Analyst Sebastian Batchy and Senior Legislative Counsel C.J. Murray for their work in putting this hearing together. Finally, I want to thank my own Chief of Staff, Alexander Hart, for his assistance. Now we'll turn it over to the clerk to call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Governmental Operations. Both items are coupled. Chair Ung. Aye. Thank you. Brewer. Aye. Thank you. Hanif. Aye. Thank you. Restler. Aye. Thank you. Shulman. Aye. Thank you. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, both items have been adopted by the committee. And Madam Chair, that is a full committee. You can close at your convenience. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Chairman.